everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing very well. So, as you can see today, we are in front of Founders and I'm with my friend Manjot. That's me. Yeah. Um, and... Cut that out, little okay. <laughs> Today, we are going to do a video of us wandering around Royal Holloway because apparently our uni is the most haunted university. Top 10. Oh yeah. Top 10 haunted university in the UK. Before I start, let me introduce myself first. Uh, my name is Nadia Valerie. I am currently living in the UK, but I'm half Indonesian, half British. Hi everyone, my name is Manjot and I am also a student at Royal Holloway. I live in the UK, in London. It is 7.30pm. We're currently waiting for the sun to set a bit, um, but we don't want it too dark so that the camera can pick up yeah just in, just in case it can't pick up the image yeah. but until then look at beautiful founders yes look how beautiful it is and haunted apparently if you are interested make sure to keep watching and click the subscribe button a little bit of a history of royal holloway it was built in 1886 by thomas holloway for his wife jane holloway the reason the name is uh royal holloway is because it was um during the opening of this place uh queen Vic Queen Victoria was the one who unveiled it, yes. so that's why it, it was previously known as Bedford College mm -hmm. but then it got changed to Royal Holloway down the line. Because they didn't have any kids, they made this place as a university and first it was an education for women yes. but through time men And that is come. actually the reason why the corridors inside this building are very wide because back in the Victorian era mm -hmm. they used to have big dresses. You'll see that in a minute. Yeah, that's but anyways, in either. terms of it being haunted, basically it is to be believed that there's a black... <laughs> <laughs> There's a black cat that wanders around campus. People believe that when Thomas Holloway died, he reincarnated to a black cat or either, what, what were you saying before? He reincarnated into a black cat or he never died in the first place. And changed himself he into... transformed into a black cat. A black cat. These are some of the myths that are believed by some people, not by us. Do we believe them? Okay, in terms of that, to be honest, I don't really... I don't know. Skeptical. Skeptical, Skeptical yeah. yeah. That's yeah. why I'm never scared. I mean, I definitely don't believe that Thomas Holloway is a cat, but it's interesting to see that people believe that. Yeah. It's interesting that people actually believe that the guy who started this place is now a cat. It's now and a cat. And he roams around campus. Yeah. And you do see the cat a lot, actually. I do, campus. I do, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's very popular on campus. And you've seen one today? Yeah, I saw it today. Mm. Yeah. Spooky. It's known as Boots. Boots? Boots, that's the name. Really? So there you go, guys. If you come to Royal Holloway, make sure you spot that black cat. Okay guys, so now we are at the North Quad. Manjot, do you want to tell us a bit about this place? Yes, Queen Victoria, she's the one who unveiled Royal Holloway when it was first opened in 1879. In this quad, in the corner, unfortunately we can't go in there today, but basically there's a picture gallery. So back in uh, that time, Thomas Holloway really liked collecting like Victorian art. And there is this one painting, what is it called? It is the... Uh Oh, remember. God disposes? No, no, no. Man. Man disposes. No, no, no. Man, man disposes. Man... Go. <laughs> Chat in bed, shit, man. Man disposes. Go. <laughs> what are you on about? Man proposes. God disposes. Mm -hmm. And it's basically a picture of polar bears. A couple of polar bears. It is known throughout history of this building to be haunted. Also, by the way, the picture gallery, the, the collection is worth millions. It's very, very precious, which is yep. why there's guarded gates. Mm -hmm. Which close every day. Instead of it being just a picture gallery, students usually take their exams in there as well. What happens when, like, what's the stories about that? So, in the modern day, if you come to this university and take an exam in the picture gallery, mm -hmm. the polar bear picture, it, the painting, sorry, it will be covered up with the Union Jack flag. Yeah. And here's why. In the 70s, a student, while doing their exam, they killed themselves in front of the painting, and before they did that, they wrote in the paper, polar bears made me do it. The second story goes, a student stabbed themselves in the eye. In the eye. To, so that they don't see the, the dark powers of the polar bears. When I go in there, I like to stare in their eyes. And that's another what? thing. <laughs> There's like bells every hour, guys. So ever since then, they've decided to cover up the painting with the Union Jack flag. Until now. It is also said that the painting, obviously it's open for people to visit, for mm -hmm. the public to visit during yep. the daytime. Uh, it is said that the painting, well, its dark powers are unleashed when it's dark. Which I'm assuming is probably why they close, they close it. the gates at night. Yeah, maybe. That's a pretty interesting story for you about this university. And I reckon that is probably one of the most... Like the thing that people talk about. Because yes. like, honestly, a lot of people come here and I work ambassador and a lot of people ask, where's the painting of the polar bear? Yes, because everyone honestly, knows about it. Yeah, everyone it's like everywhere. It. Like if you search, it's even on the BBC News. Yes, there was an article by the BBC. We 
we are now inside um, Founders Building and I don't know why, I know we're recording like a haunted video but look at the light guys. I don't, so I don't really come here often but when I do, that does not happen. Yeah, same, me too. <laughs> just, just saying. So basically, in inside Founders Building, it's usually... Uh, time off. In Founders Building, it's usually for accommodation. Some students get to live here, like in like Founders Building, which is quite nice or quite scary. The story goes: Jane Holloway, who's Thomas Holloway's wife, her ghost roams the fourth floor corridors. Mm -hmm. People have allegedly heard rustling sounds of her dress walking down the corridors late at night. There's also another story that apparently there's a little boy that wanders around the corridor. So right now we're at the corridor, and. What was it said about found like what do they do? What does the boy do? It's just it runs around the corridors apparently and it's been seen like in front of people's beds at night. If you choose this accommodation if you <laughs> if you choose this accommodation, just be prepared. Like you never know what's gonna be on your bed or in your accommodation. Right, so we're walking back down Founders now, and I don't know what I'm recording, but I am. Here is me. <laughs> I just did a really awkward video. It's okay. <laughs> Harry Potter. Right, since we're fans of Harry Potter and Manjot, why don't you do the spell? <laughs> not now, mate. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> <laughs> The polar bear. Yeah. Is our R H U L mascot. What is his name? Colossus. Colossus. That is founders, right? Now we're walking in the woods, all right? Now I don't know why they did this, but basically, in the middle of the woods, there's this place called Jane Holloway Hall. Usually, it's for like gym classes. Yes. But they also like hold exams there as well. But it's literally in the middle of the woods. It's like a little, it's like a tiny little hut. Yeah. Like, it's like a little shed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just imagine like a little shed in mm -hmm. the back of like a big house. In yeah. The garden. It's literally like in the middle of nowhere. It's a bit creepy at night, but we'll show you. We're, we're walking there now. We're walking there right now. But in the meantime, look at how beautiful our campus is. Look how green it is. It is beautiful. Very green, full of trees. And animals as well. Can you hear? Can you hear the birds chirping? Well, the nature of this university is one of the reasons why it is uh, has one of the highest student satisfaction rates in all of the UK. Yep. Because it has so much nature, and nature is healing. in front of Jane Holloway Hall. As Manjot said previously, this place is kind of like a hut. It's very small. I don't find this information on the internet, but a lot of my friends say that Jane Holloway's body is actually buried here. So, mm. Below this building, it used to be tunnels, right? You can see like the outline of this fence right here. And it's actually some steps that go downstairs. Yeah. And there's a room that we can't access. No one really knows what's down there, to be honest. Mm, me neither. I'm not really sure. I think it might be one of the entrances to the tunnels. Because there are tunnels that go from Founders all the way down to Boiler House. Yeah, so we don't really know what the tunnels are for, but we know they do exist. So yeah, and they're, they're closed off now. They're closed off. I don't know why. I feel like this place has a lot of mysterious history that has not been yes. revealed, you know? Yeah, yeah. If you guys want to know more about it, just search like Royal Holloway Haunted and or stuff like Or visit this place by yourself. Like, come here. Yeah, it, it is a public place, so you are literally allowed to walk onto campus. And yes. no, one, no one is allowed to like say anything to you because it is literally legally a public place and if you're a student honestly i would really recommend this university because it's just amazing like i've had such a great experience going to this place um right manjo magical like you said in your other video magical, magical. it is magical, <laughs> magical. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead uh get bubble tea after get this some bubble tea. yes that's another that's reason fine. why you should come to this uni because there's, bu <laughs> there's bubble tea on campus right <laughs> what, else, what else do you want you know yes. what i mean bubble tea nature and there's, and there's, there's bubble tea and there's two starbucks as well Yes. Two Starbucks and there's a pub and two clubs like you know what I mean like mm. and there's a lot of ghosts as well What else do you need? Yeah, you, it, you need you these know? ghosts, you know, like exactly. make it make your life more interesting Exactly, <laughs> you, need, you need the whole package. That's what you need. <laughs> yeah, you can't have one or the other You need everything. Anyways guys, I really hope you enjoy this video Don't forget yes. to give it a thumbs up and make sure you check out my friend's YouTube channel 
right? What is it called, Manjot? Uh, Life of Jotty. I've just started it. Yes. So I have like half a video on there so far. It's but right. I, I do plan to put more and she'll be in the videos and my friend will be in the videos. So if you want to have a look, you can. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And we'll see you on my next video. Bye! A little bit of a history of yeah, our yeah, campus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, the camera's shaking. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. No, let's go now. <laughs> yeah, this looks cool. There's a cool angle. If we can make it quick. We can do like a quick one. Otherwise, it'd be like it'd be awkward down here. Yeah, we could be like. Okay, let's be scared. One, two, three. <laughs> So right now we are behind. Are we? Are we behind? We're in front of it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, I was like. <laughs>